What's going on guys? I am Crimson Seabed. I've had my coffee and I feel great. We are here with an RU battle against Lorenzo. We did feature him on the channel previously. The link to his Twitter and his YouTube will be down below. Um, if you ever want a chance to battle me, follow me on Twitter as well. I'm always looking for battles, especially on my days off. I've got probably 10 to 12 battles lined up right now because that's what I do in my spare time. I like battling. I like having extra content for you guys to watch. So make sure you follow me on there. Um, if you haven't yet, we do have new graphics on the channel. Let me know what you think down in the comment section about that. Also, a link to our current giveaway of the week will be down there. Check that out. And we are going to go on ahead and hop right on into this. I'm going to take a picture of his team because I like being prepared. I don't know about you. But I don't like going in blind, especially when this is a game of predictions. This is chess, only more interesting. So he is bringing the Slow King, the Moltres, the Dub Trio, Hitmon Top, Cobalion, and Amoongus. Um, with that Moltres on the field, I want to put rocks up as quick as possible. That's what I want to do. Um, just to get that nice 50% damage right off the bat. So we're going to lead off with Notre Dame. Notre Dame is our Bronzong. And before I click, click that last one, uh, common weaknesses I see. I see a psychic weakness. I see a hefty psychic weakness between Amoongus and Hitmontop. I see Cobalion's what? Steel fighting? Steel fighting. You got that ground weakness. We're just going to go on ahead in. We're going to go on ahead in and see how this goes. Like I said... Got my coffee, I feel great. I'm thinking about trimming this up. Let me know what you guys think. This is becoming a bit much of a beard. This is the longest my beard has ever been, and it's just kind of going, so. We are going to see, he opens up with Lavados. Lavados. Uh, fortunately for us, um, Notre Dame does not carry Levitate. Lo Notre Dame carries Heat Proof. So that's not going to hurt too much. It shouldn't hurt too I'm going to say it shouldn't hurt too much. I wonder, is that Maltrace's real name? Because I know Lorenzo is in Europe, so that might be its actual name over there. I don't know. So we ate that flamethrower up pretty well. We're going to get the lefties recovery. After lefties, that did about 30%. So we can go for some damage now. Or, or we can go out into something that resists the, um, let's go out into something that resists that flamethrower. Let's go out into Pumba. We're going to go out into Pumba to take this flamethrower, and hopefully we can get the head smash off. And he is going to go, yep, just for another flamethrower. Good prediction. Could be a choice... He could be choice in some fashion. We haven't seen what item he's holding at, mainly because we haven't gotten any damage done to this thing yet. But this thing's not going to take a head smash. He does withdraw Lavados, and he's going to go out into Hitmontop. Now, Hitmontop probably doesn't want nothing to do with this head smash either. Because, oh, he does. Oh, Intimidate. I forgot Hitmontop's carry that. There's nothing intimidating about that thing except its weird eyes. That does nothing. That does nothing, and unfortunately, we're choiced into um, head smash right now. So I sense a fake out coming my way. So we are going to go out into. We're going to go back out into Notre Dame. We're going to go back out into Notre Dame and take this fake out. Rapid spin. Get those rocks away. So either way, I'm still in a good position to set up rocks. Or I can get a lovely Zen headbutt off. Either way. Yeah, the lefties on the hit on top. That's cool. That's cool. I, I still... I'm comfortable with my Pokemon in the RU tier, but when other people start bringing other things, that's when I get a little... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So we're going to go in for a Zen headbutt. I don't know if he wants to stay in on me. These things, I don't know what these things carry. I don't. It's the first time I've battled a Hitmontop. I thought Hitmontops carried the fake out. I thought all the Hitmons carried a fake out. We'll see. So he's going to withdraw. Something's going to come in and take the Zen headbutt. Goes back out into Moltres. 
Good thing he just got those rocks away. So we're going to get a Zen Headbutt off. See how much this does. Not a whole lot. Doesn't do a whole lot. Um, he might try to overpredict and think I'm going back out into... Um, Embor to get that heat resistance, but heat proof is a real thing. We can take a flamethrower. So he U-turns out of there, actually. That might do not a lot of damage. That might not do a lot of damage, which it doesn't. Um, he's going to U-turn out into the... What wants to deal with me, I wonder? What wants to deal with me, I wonder? Slow King. Okay. So like I said, we are going to get these rocks up, which is good. I don't know what Slow King wants to do, though. That's my biggest concern right now. I'm just going to go for a Gyro Ball. And I want to see what he wants to do. It just goes for a Scald. Okay. I can respect that. He does not get the burn. Okay. Let's see how much this Gyro Ball does. Not nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I feel like we're just going to sack off our, um... I feel like we're just going to sack off our Bronzong so we can get some kind of... Unfortunate momentum going. So he carries the leftovers. If we can start setting up with Bayou, that's the uh, that's the ideal play. T waves me. Okay. Does get that T wave off, so we are just gonna go for an EQ here. See how much it does. Not a lot. Not a lot. Kind of upset by that. Mm. I'm going to go out into Poke Plant. I'm going to go out into Poke Plant and put this thing to sleep. So I can hopefully get some kind of switch initiative into our... Um, bayou. Goes for a Skull Deer. That's not going to hurt very much. And he does not get the burn that time, so statistics hold that the next Pokemon I switch into is going to get burned on a Skull. I predict him to go out into the Poke Plant here, because he knows the Spore is coming his way. I predict the Poke Plant. So I am going to go out into... I'm going to double switch out. This is a really risky play. I'm going to double switch out. He withdraws the Slow King, probably thinking the Spore is coming his way. Yep, he goes out in his own Amoongus. And we're going to double back out here into the um, Embor. We're double backing out into the Embor. So now we've got a little bit of momentum on our side. Now it all depends. He knows I carry the Head Smash. He knows I've got some Fire-type move. So, at this point, we're just going to go for a Flare Blitz, because I know that Slow King's about to come through. Either Slow King, Slow King's going to come through, Moltres isn't going to come through, especially with these rocks on the field. So it's all down to what he wants to predict. He is going to withdraw the Amoongus. And he's going to go out into the Slow King to take this Flare Blitz. I want to see how much Flare Blitz does. I know it's resisted. But we're pretty... I mean, we're reckless. We're adamant. We're choice banded. Okay. So this thing doesn't want to take another Flare Blitz. And I'm pretty sure we outspeed. So. my I'm just going to go for another Flare Blitz. I'm just going to go for another Flare Blitz because... Um, nothing on his team wants to take this. Nothing. Moltres can't come in on these rocks. He can't. He's going to withdraw the Slow King. And he's going to go out in the Hitmontop to get the attack drop. 
Um, even at minus one, we're still going to do some damage to this thing, because it's not very... I'm, I'm going to assume. It doesn't look very bulky. So at minus one, reckless attack... Ooh, okay. Um, now is he going to go for the fake out, or is he just going to rapid spin rocks away? Either way, I'm going to keep flare blitzing. He might carry bullet punch too. I think Hitmon's carry bullet punch. But let's see. Let's see. Goes for a mock punch. That shouldn't hurt. Okay, so probably both of us are going down right here. So him on top goes down, and we do live on 13. We live on 13, so whatever comes in is not going to want to take this Flare Blitz. So we got a little momentum going. We got the him on top down, so now rocks are up on his side. Rocks are permanently up on his side, so he goes out into Moltres. Um, choice Scarf Moltres? Maybe? Uh, Flare Blitz is going to have to come through. Do we outspeed is the question. Do we outspeed? I don't know if we outspeed this bird. Goes for the air slash. So that is... That is a dead Embor. Embor just... Embor just put in work. Unfortunately, though, with that slow bro, that regenerator is going to come through. I'm just going to go out and hit Monley. I'm going to go out and hit Monley to get this fake out off because I want to know what a normal gemmed adamant fake out is going to do to this bird. I really want to know. Hopefully it takes it out. Maltrace does go down to that normal gem fake out, so... Hitmonlee just came through. I'm predicting the Slow King to come out. Slow King... Amoongus could go... Amoongus, there it is. Now, the funny thing about Hitmonlee is that I carry the blaze kick. So we're gonna see what, how much damage this is gonna do. Does fair amount, goes for the giga drain because he's gonna scout to see what I do and I'm pretty sure Amoongus is the poison type otherwise we could go for the poison jab. Let me double check that actually because I don't wanna, I don't wanna go for a move that doesn't hurt it. Amoongus, uh, grass poison, yep, so um, we're just going to go for another blaze kick. He's probably going to switch out. No, he stays in. He does stay in to take this blaze kick. Keeps going for a Giga Drain. So now at this point, we can take it out. He is within knockout range of this Giga Drain. He does get Black Sludge and he does get um, a recovery from that. So he might just try to put in as much work on this him only as he can. Which, uh, he is going to withdraw going out into the Slow King. Yep. Slow King gets that regenerator, but the Stealth Rocks are going to do some damage. We still outspeed. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that we're going to go down to whatever this thing wants to do. Poison types, Poison hits normal on it. So, I don't see much need to keep... Hit Monley around. We're going to go for this poison jab to see how much it wants to do. Ooh! Ooh, the hacks. The hacks. I'm sorry, Lorenzo. I'm sorry. So he's going to go for a slack off because he predicted the switch, but we do get that nice little poison. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know how I feel about this game anymore. It's all fun and games until hacks come through. Then it's... Then it's no, no es bueno. We go for another poison jab. Uh, to see how much this does. Toxic day. He's probably going to go for another slack off. Psy shock. So down's going to... Hitman Lee is going to go down, unfortunately. Um, we can go out into Bayou and set up a D-dance. That is something we can do. Because I feel like after the toxic damage this turn, he is going to be... He's going to want to slack off. Or he's going to want to switch. Either way. That's, that's either slack off or switch out to get that regenerator. So we're going to go out into Bayou, and we're going to D-dance. We're going to start setting up with Bayou, and get this nice D-dance off. 
Let's see what he wants to do. Does he want to stay in? He could slack off, or he could switch out. Switching out is going to give him that regenerator boost, and it's also going to revert the poison. So he does withdraw. And he goes out into Amoongus. So a stab earthquake, it's neutral. A stab plus one earthquake. A stab plus one earthquake, let's see. Let's see what it does. It does take out the Amoongus. So now that we are at plus one, um, I don't see... Let me go back. Let me go back before I start talking all this game. Let me... He still carries him going into my Pokedex. I have another picture app. So he still has left. He has the Slowking, he has the Dugtrio, and he has the Cobalion. So he is going to go out into Dugtrio. Um... Waterfall? I don't know what a Dugtrio wants to do to me. I don't. So, we're going to see. He could double back out in the Slow King. Earthquake, okay. So he outspeeds me. That's unfortunate. We're going to take that, though. This is going to be... Dugtrio's going down. This is plus one super effective waterfall. There we go. Um, Cobalion's probably his best bet if he wants to do anything to me. He sees the life orb damage now. I don't know, I, he, he saw it last turn when we, when we took out the movie. so he goes on to Cobalion. Cobalion, I'm pretty sure, is steel fighting. If I'm making an ass out of myself and not knowing my typing, I apologize, but I don't use a lot of these Pokemon. Cobalion's steel fighting, so this EQ is about to come through. Close combat, he outspeeds, wow, okay. Okay, I'm a little scared now. Well, wow. Huh. Okay. I see you, big dog. We're going to go out into our Poke Plant. With Cobalion and Slow King left. I don't know what Cobalion... He could predict, like, the Spore and go out in the Slow King. So I'm just going to go for a Foul Play. He does go for another Close Combat. That's resisted, though. So now his defenses are at minus two. He resists both of my stab... He's n one of my stabs is ineffective, and then he resists my other stab. Justified. Shit. 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 Oh! Oh, I forgot Justified's a thing. Mm. I am a dumb. I'm gonna have to put it to sleep. Because now he's at minus three. Can we take that? We cannot take that. He's at minus three. That was a crit, too. Well, this might... I don't know what we can do to this thing. This is gonna hurt. This close combat's gonna hurt. Um. Cobalion. Wants to take this. Cobalion wants to take this earthquake. I don't know if we can live a plus one close combat, though. Probably not. No, we do not. Well, it's a good thing my Golbat only carries Super Fang. Wow, the turnaround on this game, though. So he's going to withdraw Cobalion and go back out into Slow King. We do get the Rocks damage, and we are going to get a Super Fang off. It's highly, highly... I, we can't do anything, because Super Fang just keeps doing 50%. So 
Super Fang just does 50%, 50%, 50%. I'm just gonna go for a roost here because the side shock's coming my way. The side shock is coming my way. Oh, we outspeed and he goes for the side shock. Cool. That hurts. So. Hmm. Is Cobalion choiced? Might have been. I'm just going to go for another Roost here, because Poison Damage is going to take him out this turn. Because this side Shock's about to come through, and I don't want nothing to do with that. This is a really good game. That Cobalion came through. Cobalion put in the finest. We're going to have another side Shock. This thing's going to go down. Uh, he might choice himself into, like, Stone Edge or something. But we, we pretty much lost this, because Super Fang only does 50%, 50% each time. Like, it's not like it does 50% of your total HP, 50% of your total HP. It does 50% of whatever HP you have right now. So, mm, this is probably GG. Because I don't, we don't have anything. He's steel, he resists my poison typing. We can go for a Roost here, predicting the Stone Edge. Nope, he's choice. Oh, he misses. That's crucial. Oh, that's crucial. So we are going to be able to take... I'm going to do as much damage to this thing as I can. I'm not going down without a fight. We're taking... We're hitting this Super Fang. Goes for a Stone Edge. He avoids it again. All oh, the hacks. We're going to get as much damage off on this thing as we can. And I'm just going to whittle it away. I'm just going to whittle it away. Stone Edge? Okay, he connects the third one. We live. We live. So. I'm gonna stall this out and get as much damage as I can, because I am that kind of bastard. No, he does connect that Stone Edge, so that is GG. Lorenzo, that Cobalion is powerful. Thank you so much for having this battle with me. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. He's got awesome Pokemon content. Follow him on Twitter. The link to it will be in the description, as well as his YouTube. Like I said, follow him on there. He's a good friend of mine. As you can see, he's a hell of a battler, too. So, with that, guys, I am Crimson Seabed. Make sure you poke that like button. We've got new graphics on the channel. We've got a bunch of incoming content for you guys. Double daily uploads are a real thing. And like I said, I am Crimson Seabed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.